that we have to grow in our capacity to think, learn quickly, be able to grow in knowledge and understanding and developing skills. Imagination. Imagination is sort of the, uh, the spiritual awareness of things that we have probably forgotten. And so the spiritual awareness is always with us. It has been with us from the very beginning in the first world, the second world, and here in the uh, third world. And it's something that we will fully recognize in the fourth world. So. In the traditional teachings of our people, we have so many different things that are to remind us of our continual growth as a being in this the third world. And uh, in the teachings, of course, we understand and we are to be aware. Now, that is a, an important word, akohinsen, apahohinsen, is that when we first came into existence as a being, we had to begin growing. And that occurred in the first world, in the dark world. And we grew in awareness. And awareness is something that is, we have a word that we say, but it is not a thing that is we could apply to the way that our brain works in this world. The spiritual awareness is so much different and it begins our growth process of movement as we existed in the first world and then we progressed through the second world and then into this world, the third world. And I think that it's very important that our people understand that somewhere along the way there's been confusion and it's not right to think that we are in the fourth world. We are not in the fourth world. We are in the third world, and the fourth world is yet to come. And in this world, in the third world, everything that we are to remember is that this is a time of growth. We have to grow in the four areas of our being, our mental growth, our emotional growth, our physical growth, and our spiritual growth in the four areas of our being we have to grow and uh, so we have in the traditional teaching everything that we do is always done in that continual growth direction the way that we construct our dwellings the hogan when we enter the hogan we go to our left and we go in that clockwise direction we recognize that this the sunlight comes in and it moves in that continual growth direction when we tie anything of our medicine bundle, we always use the loop and loop it in the continual growth direction, generally either two times or four times. And it is that uh, the preparation and ceremonies are all done in that continual growth direction. Anosekeh is what we call it. Even the making of the, um, the coming of age cake, which we call alkant. And when it is, uh, the pit is, this, is dug and you place the corn husk on the, uh, in the dirt where you're going to be pouring the, uh, the cornmeal or the mix for the coming of age cake, you have to lay all of the, uh, the corn husk in that continual growth direction. And there are so many different things that we have to do in that continual growth direction. It is also the way that our hair grows in the top of our head. It is done in that continual growth direction. And so all of our fields, traditionally, 
were made in that continual growth direction. Is uh, the way that they uh, refer to it. And so it is that there are so many things in the teachings of the way the ceremonial settings are set up and how you have to follow that uh, continual growth direction. And so the teachings apply to our thinking, that we have to grow in our capacity to think. When we're a child, we may have some handicaps and not be able to do things as well as other people in certain areas, but we can do the best we can. But we have to grow in the understanding of that physical limitation that we might have. But others, that they might have the capacity to learn quickly and to be able to, uh, to grow in knowledge and understanding and developing skills. And the uh, necessary elements of that, of course, uh, the imagination. Imagination is sort of the, uh, the spiritual awareness of things that we have probably forgotten. And so the spiritual awareness is always with us. It has been with us from the very beginning in the first world, the second world, and here in the uh, third world. And it's something that we will fully recognize in the fourth world. So awareness is the way that Aquahins and Bakwahins and is a teaching that is very important because it is not something that you conjure up in your mind or to develop in your thinking. It is something beyond that. And so the um, awareness, of course, is applied more to the spiritual understanding of, of things. But in the physical setting, we have our physical body, and we have our physical brain, and we have our uh, physical feelings, you might say. So there, those are the areas that we have to grow in, is in our mental ability, in our uh, heart or emotional ability, and in our physical being, development. And the uh, fourth is the spiritual. So we have to grow in those areas continually. And to grow is actually to become. That is the, uh, the intent of growing. And it's our responsibility. We always have the choices to, to do this or to do that. And the, uh, in growing, we have to understand that there is going to be opposition to what we want to do. In every area of our desired growth, we have to overcome those. And that's what induces growth. So even the idea of uh, pain and suffering, you have to subject yourself and accept that pain and suffering because it is something that is to help us to grow, either mentally, emotionally, physically, or spiritually. It is our personal responsibility. And so when you come right down to it, you cannot blame other people. It is true that there are some times when we have a physical environment that uh, might uh, influence us or restrain us, and or they might inflict uh, discomfort on us, but we have to be able to understand that we have to grow from some of those experiences that we have. Some people have physical limitation, physically handicapped or emotionally handicapped or mentally handicapped, and they as a being have to understand that we that don't have those disabilities, it is our responsibility to a great extent to help them as best we can, but it is that they are experiencing something that we may not be subjected to. And so it is that on our part, it is very important to understand that we do what we can and uh, do the best we can for other people. And that makes us grow, or that helps in our growth and development in our thinking, our feeling, in our body, and in our physical or our spiritual self. The teachings of continual growth direction is that uh, sometimes growth can be very painful and especially when you develop habits and uh, allow uh, desires and that uh, to get out of hand, to change. Change is a very painful thing. So when you make the wrong choices to make and do away with those wrong choices and to get away from those wrong choices, it is a painful experience. 
And uh, that experience is what induces growth. And it doesn't mean that you have to experience those things. You can watch and see what happened to other people that uh, had that experience. So if you watch a person walk up to a, a stove and touch it, uh, they jerk their hand away and they had a bad experience, you don't want that experience yourself. And so sometimes you have to understand and it's growing that you have to rely on your senses, which is the things you listen to, the things you hear, the things you see, the things you smell, the things you touch, and the things you taste. These are all things. Everybody has a different uh, way of appreciating something. Some of us are fearful of certain things, and um, some of us are not. And it's like somebody might be fearful of the dark, and other people are not. But there are many things that uh, every one of us as individual are different on dealing with our fear of darkness and uh, our fear of uh, falling uh, from great heights. And uh, it might not be something we experience, but we have the feeling that we uh, might not have a good experience if we had that happen to us, if we fall off of a high place. So we have a fear of heights and everything in some way, somebody, somehow, we are all different. And part of the growth that we have to experience is understanding that not all of us are the same. Everybody and everyone has different ways of thinking about things, feeling about things, and how they respond to it physically. And of course, the spiritual concept. Some people have absolutely nothing spiritual about their interests in life. And these are the important things, is to understand that our awareness that we began developing in the first world, coming through the second world, in this world, and the language of our people, we have that understanding of awareness. Bakwisinsen, Bakwisinsen. Maybe sometimes we might refer to it as common sense, or we might refer to it as um, a sixth sense. But it is nonetheless, it is there, it is real, and we have to be able to tap into it to help us grow in the four, four areas of our being. And so continual growth direction is to help us understand that in this life and in this existence, we are to become better than what we were yesterday. And so we can be better today. Hopefully we can be better again tomorrow. And so continually grow in the four areas of our being is very important. And that we have to understand we'll have opposition as we try to grow in those areas of our being. And those are the things that we are told. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. Okay. <laughs>